right, let's turn now to the forecast. We had this live look for you over Southfield oh, as so we hurry. head into the weekend. It is yeah. very sunshine. What's bluer? Now take a look at that shot. What's bluer, the sky there or Glenda's dress? Oh, <laughs> I, I think we're one in the same. There you go. That's hey. called high noon blue, right. by the way. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Little Mother Earth vibe. There you go. <laughs> uh, April 22nd is Earth Day. That's coming up just around the corner, right? Early next week. Yeah. Show you what's going on. Now, the sun has been great, but the breeze is up and the temperatures oh, ain't what they used to be, as they say. 60 in Detroit. That's right for this time of year. 61 is the average high on this date, but that's the only spot at 60, and you can see it cools off to the north and west. 53 in Lapeer, 52 in Howe, 51 in Lansing, and that's just the start of a cooler weekend. Again, a pretty sky, fun to see amongst the skyscrapers, uh, and it's 60 out in Metro. Humidity only 28%. There are a few high clouds going by right now. West winds at 23 Gusted to 28. It'll be like that for a while this evening. We keep some of the wind tonight, which actually is a good thing. And then we get into a breezier weekend. There are a couple clouds I wanted to show you up close to right there. Uh, they're going by in their southern counties. And then this is colder air. If you notice, the look of the clouds off to our northwest is different than the clouds to our south. It's the colder that's making those clouds. And look, look at 39 in Marquette. 35 in Duluth, even Minneapolis at 37 while we're sitting at 60. So there's a pretty significant change coming. And with that will be the breeze as well. So eventually that helps us from frost, but eventually that subsides and we have some frost concerns into the weekend. Through the weekend, I guess, is a better way to say it. So here we go. A cloud cover to the south. This is over-exaggerated, but will be brighter in the morning. This is 9 o'clock than in the afternoon. Here's 2.30. So that's still not bad. There'll be some sun punching through here in spots, so we'll call it a partly sunny day tomorrow, but it will be brighter in the morning than in the afternoon. And if you let this roll into Sunday, Sunday's just nice and filled with sunshine. This is 8 o'clock in the morning, but it's filled with sun all day long. We'll be in good shape that way. All right, here's what's going on for the details now. Tonight, 38 in Detroit, 34 in Ann Arbor and Howell, 36 in Adrian, 35 in Port Sanilac. But there's enough wind through this evening into the nighttime hours, and even the lighter winds overnight are about 10 miles an hour. I think that keeps things stirred up so frost is not such a concern. If you have been planting and you want to make sure they're safe, cover them up. But then tomorrow we go to 50 in Detroit, lots of upper 40s for highs. The wind is up to 15 to 25. And then as you look into tomorrow night, 32 in Lapeer, 33 in Pontiac, 31 in Ann Arbor, 34 in Detroit. So this is Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's when you really have to be concerned about frost, not just on Saturday night into Sunday morning, but also Sunday morning, uh, night into Monday morning. That will be chilly as well. So lots going on here. It's cool, but it's bright. And then we get the rain chances back on Tuesday. Oh, look at those draft icons. We'll talk day to day today about mm -hmm. the draft forecast coming up. Look at that. Thank you, Dave.